pad. Can you believe this? No. Where's I'm the Where's the guy work working this thing? You know, I heard the the company that that owns this mower is having trouble finding people. They can't, can't find a guy to run it. They can't recruit any people, Bill. That's a problem, Harvester yeah, Ed. It definitely is. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. Head Harvester Ed Lafon from the East Coast. Our topic today is recruiting, and we're going to give you a recruiting tip on where to find people. We, we can't tell you how many times we've heard this. I can't find people. Where do I find them, Harvester Ed and Harvester Bill? What are the sources? Where can I find the sources to find good people? Well, today we're going to give you four or five really good sources that we've used over the years and our customers have used for, with great success. First and foremost, your first source would be consider your existing people for the opening. So before you run out and hire somebody at a higher level, consider your people that are internal for promotions up within those positions. So first, consider your existing people. Two, have your people, your, especially your good ones, help you find good people and offer them a reward. We'll talk a little bit more about referral rewards program later on, but the second source is your good people out looking for good people for you. So you don't want to be recruiting all by yourself. You want your good people and lots of people looking for you. And Ed's going to share with you some other people to look for you. So there's two right there. Oh, that's good. That's good, Bill. Real, really good ones. Uh, some of the things I did in my company, uh, I talked to my suppliers to see if they knew anyone that uh, would fit the type of person I was looking for. Uh, of course, all my friends, I put the word out, you know, to all my friends, my customers, uh, you know, the ones that uh, may have uh, people that uh, could work in the landscape trade. That happened many times. Uh, maybe even friendly competitors. They have too many Friendly people. competitors? Yeah, even them, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a good idea. I got a really, well, actually wasn't a competitor, but one of my uh, subcontractors, he had a really great guy and he got through a job and he said, hey, you got to hire this guy. He's so good. And I did and I didn't regret it. He was fantastic. So, you know, you have to talk to your competitors. You have to talk to your vendors and, and, and your suppliers and all the people you deal with. You so know? That's like your network. Absolutely. All, okay. Absolutely. All the people around. Good stuff. You talked about the, the people working for you. Now you have to spread that network out. Uh, of course, the internet. Internet. I mean, that's a, that's a given. You, you have to go to the internet. Uh, some of the websites, for example, might be Indeed.com. I know everybody's on Craigslist. I think in many parts of the country, Indeed is really, it's, you're finding results. One of the right? best for having it locally. Yeah, yeah. So I think it depends where you are in the country as to which ones work. Uh, you could put it on uh, veterans' job boards. Yeah. You know, the veterans are looking for work. Uh, how about even uh, posting it at church job boards, school job boards, you know, all that type of people. You know what's one a lot of them don't do? Radio spots. I think radio, radio spots, spots. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. And Spanish and English. Because, you know, the Hispanic workforce, they, they're they looking for work and they want better jobs. That's a perfect place is the radio. And make sure you're in the right stations, though, of course, you know, the, yeah. they would listen to. Yeah. So I, I think if they do some of these things, that would help. Another one I just thought of is jobs in horticulture. Jobs in hort. You can just Google that and you'll pull that right up. And that's just horticultural, you know, uh, ads. Where the other ones that we talked about, like Indeed and Craigslist, they're all various jobs, you know. Yeah, so I see people posting their resumes on Indeed.com as well right now. So yeah. it works both ways. So those are some great tips for you. Now listen, we're going to give you a special offer right now. As you probably know, I wrote a book called The Harvest Way for Recruiting and Hiring the Right People. We built a kit around that. It has virtually everything you need to have to build your company into a recruiting machine. So if you click down below today, we're going to offer it for, I don't know, what do you think, Ed, 48 hours? Uh, yeah, One we'll week. give them 25% off. Let's give, them, let's give them a week. They go down there, they enter member 50, and they're going to get a big discount. Yeah, like 20, 25%? 50% they're going to get off. 50%. Member 50. Just click down below, you get the harvest kit, and you get, guess what? get Harvester Bill for one hour as well to help sort you out on your recruiting program. Now that's a big discount. That's a big discount because this guy knows a little bit about recruiting. So those we just gave you five or six sources right there. In the book I've listed 19 sources. So there's a lot more where that came from. And you know what? Go to the source. That's a great recruiting tip. This Absolutely. is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed Laflamme from the East Coast. We'll see you out there. Now go out there and harvest your potential with good recruiting. Go to the source.